Almost 12 years ago, I wrote a paper entitled The Perfect Storm. In that paper, we described the collision of three storms that would come in the future. Those three storms were the arrival of a raft of new technologies and a shift to the internet. The second storm was around how we would understand the brain to learn. How do we actually learn and how do we know how we learn best? And the third storm in this whole picture was the ability for young people to build their own creativity, to learn, to be able to research through the inquiry process, through action learning, to be able to actually do their own learning and build understanding and take that understanding and be creative with it. These three storms would collide to provide a superstorm that would really change and rock the world of education. And now we're seeing it. Today we're experiencing this storm in almost every aspect of our lives, whether we're talking about learning in schools, in the workplace, or in our social place. These storms have collided and they're changing the very world we live in. I think in the future there's going to be a greater need for innovation in most areas of work. Not just skills-based innovation, but there's going to be a, a greater need for um, creative people who are going to be able to design better ways to do things. I think if we bring in computers to high school in every year, they'll, um, people will learn a lot more instead of trying to cram information into us. There was a time when learning was about units of work. We studied the Trojans, we studied Romans, the Aztecs, space, dinosaurs. We took projects home and we burnt the edges for reasons I can no longer understand. But now, suddenly, content is so vast, we simply can't predict what new knowledge is going to come out, what knowledge young people will need to know in the future. So now we're saying to young people, it's far more important to learn to learn. It's not about the content, it's now about understanding how to learn. When I want to learn how to do a specific task, I'll go onto YouTube and find a tutorial that's been made by one of the various uploaders in the YouTube community. And sometimes they can be really helpful because there are, there's many different people explaining it in different ways and instead of just getting one person's way of doing the task, you get many people's and you can find out for yourself which way is best suited for you. With all these global changes, suddenly we're having to change the way in which we teach our young people. They're moving into a world where we can't even predict their future. What they're going to need to know in the future is unknown. What they need to understand is unknown. So now we're moving from a historical body of knowledge we used to teach them to suddenly teaching them to be able to learn. They now have to become lifelong learners. And this is a different mode of education completely. So how do we prepare them for that? How do we prepare teachers to teach young people to be lifelong learners? To apprentice them and gradually build the capacity over years to become capable of managing their own learning and learning forever. Not only are we as teachers struggling with these changes in the world outside of our own world, but within our own world of education there are changes. We're now looking at far greater emphasis on teacher accountability. We're also looking at a new national curriculum. We're looking at the DER process that's worked through. We're looking at new technologies coming into school. And how are we supposed to put all that together? This is a huge challenge from a professional perspective. Almost every aspect of what we do is changing. And now we need to try and work that all in together in a strategic process to allow us to build capacity to change our practice across all areas and really take on board this paradigm shift and work our way into creating a world of education that will meet the needs of learners in our 21st century and indeed in our second decade of the 21st century.
So our job now is to grasp the fact that this is the most exciting time to be an educator. This is the time we can actually look and see forward and go, this will never happen again. This is our moment and we can make the difference. Because in a world where we can't predict what they're going to need to know, young people today must become lifelong learners.